Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, we have been discussing about problems on clock. Today we look at the fourth concept in this series. The problem that we have for today is to find the time between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock when both the hands of the clock are in the same straight line but uh, not together. Uh, we have options 5 minutes past 7, 5 minutes 2 by 11 minutes past 7, 5 3 by 11 minutes past 7 and 5 5 by 11 minutes past 7. We could visualize the information given in the problem as shown. The dotted line is the minutes hand and the thick line is the hours hand. The minute hand at 7 o'clock will be separated from the hour hand by 25 minutes as shown. But if it has to be in the same straight line, the angle between minutes hand and hours hand has to be 180 degrees, which means it has to effectively cover another 5 minute spaces. Note the concept of minute spaces here. The important thing is to understand the concept of minute spaces here. Uh, the first step is to determine this conversion. Note that when uh, the minute hand covers 60 spaces, the hour hand would have moved by 5 minutes. So the effective separation of these two hands is 55 minutes. So 55 minutes is essentially equivalent to 60 spaces of the minute hand. Therefore, one minute space is nothing but 60 by 55 minutes. The next step is to determine the separation that we have between the hour hand and the minute hand at 7 o'clock. This is 25 minutes. Next, we are to find 360 degrees of separation. We need 5 more minute spaces. We convert these 5 more minute spaces into its minutes equivalent by multiplying it with 60 by 55. So the answer is 5 minutes and 5 by 11 minutes. The first step in generalization is to determine the minute space conversion. It's always going to be 60 by 55 minutes. So one minute space is nothing but 60 by 55 minutes. In a generic case, instead of 7 o'clock, if we assume that it is indicating A o'clock, the hour hand would be at numeral A, the minute hand would be at 12, and the difference would be K minutes between the hour and minute hand in a clockwise direction. We next need to find what is the degree of separation. At 180 degrees that separates the two hands, it is always going to be equivalent to 30 minute spaces. So we have already calculated the separation and we subtract that from 30 and take the absolute value. This would be the calculation of the remaining minute spaces. We have already found the minute say spaces that it has to cover. We convert this into actual minutes by multiplying it with 60 by 55 and we find the answer. Thank you for watching Train for Aptitude. Encourage us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking the Facebook page. You could also catch us on our website trainforaptitude.in.